All right, here's a quick rundown of our stage one air tank plumbing setup. Um, so try and make this real easy for you. Hopefully you have the same tank as this. This is the standard polished five gallon aluminum tank that we ship with most of our kits. Um, if you have a different variation, we've made sure to give you the right fittings for it, but the actual configuration might be a little bit different because some of them have ports on the sides um, or different size ports or whatever. If you have any questions, you can always hit us up directly uh, right off the website at twistedimages.com. So first thing I want to go over, this tank comes with these little plastic plugs in them and in all of the ports. I've already pulled all except for the one just to kind of show you how this is done or how I do it anyway. Um, so I take a pair of needle nose pliers and I'll just real carefully, I don't want to mess up the polish, but if you grab part of it, it's real soft plastic. And then I actually just sort of thread it out a little bit until I can get my fingers on it. And then it just comes right out. It's not threaded or anything. It's just kind of stuck in there, probably to keep any debris or whatever in shipping from getting into the, uh, into the ports. All right, don't leave those in because if you thread in, you saw it's not open on the bottom. So you won't have any air going in and out if you're actually able to get, get that to, uh, to thread in. All right, so here's a basic assortment of fittings that, that we might include with your, uh, with your tank or with your system, depending on um, you know, which, uh, which pressure switch, how many compressors, all of that. I'm basing this off of a standard stage one, which has a single compressor. Um, and then this tank, obviously. So we've got a few things. This is the pressure switch. This is what tells your compressor that the tank is low and to turn on and off um, to fill the tank back up. So this has an eighth inch NPT threaded uh, you know, thread on it. Uh, some of them that we ship have a quarter inch, uh, just depending on which supplier we're using at the time. But regardless, we'll give you the right adapter either way. So these ports are all 3 8 inch NPT. So we've got adapters for quarter inch or for eighth inch. So Teflon tape, wrap it up there real good. Or if you're a, a thread sealant kind of guy, you like using the Loctite stuff, that's cool too. I've always used Teflon tape. It's always worked for me, but you do you. So you thread those two together and then just pick a port. Any of these four ports will work just fine. Um, there's no right or wrong answers. So you're gonna Teflon all that stuff real good. Tighten it down, get it where you want it, bada bang. Follow the wiring instructions that we give you for as far as hooking this up. On the bottom of the tank, we've got a drain. And you can see it's reverse threaded. So when it's all the way out like that is when it seals. Am I getting that? Let me zoom in here. So as you thread it in, you can see it opens up and that's what'll drain the moisture or if you need to let all the air out of the tank for any reason, that's how you would do that. So, and it's a tapered seal on there. So once you get this spun out and snug, you should be good to go. So this goes on the bottom of the tank. So I rotate this guy. Again, Teflon tape around the threads, get it in there, get it in there. <laughs> Make sure you get them in straight. Start it with by hand and then crank it down nice and tight. These are tapered threads. Pipe thread is tapered. So it's the Teflon tape or sealant and that taper, you know, that's why they get tighter as you go. You never actually are able to thread it all the way to the, you know, like all the way in. It'll get tight and then get it tight and then really tight and then you're good to go. All right, so next up, we've got our two feeds that go up to that gauge panel from, uh, you know, that, that controls everything. So two quarter inch line by three eighths pipe fittings. And again, these, so these have this pipe dope already installed on them. And I've seen guys just use that and not add any sealant or Teflon tape, and they've had decent luck with it, but I don't take chances. I don't like doing stuff more than once and chasing leaks sucks. So I just wrap over that with some Teflon tape. And again, just thread them in by hand at first to get the thread started and then grab your tools and get it done. These are swivel fittings. So even once this is tight, if you need to rearrange it to get those lines going the, wood, the, the direction you want them to go, then you can totally do that. All right, now 
most of our kits ship with a Vire 480 as standard. That already has a 3 8 male thread coming off of the end of that stainless braided leader line. So you can go directly into this port with that, that stainless line, that check valve at the end of it. Just thread it right in with your Teflon tape, of course, tighten it down and you're good to go. We also provide these elbows, what's called a street elbow. And that's, you know, three eighths by three eighths. And it just lets you get this sort of, you know, if that line wants to come way out here and you've got a trunk panel that, that's a little tighter than that, then you can get this in and sort of position it so the, the leader line comes you know, up and over or whatever to help you configure it. And then we've also got, if you're running like Vire 444s or 380s, then we've got adapters to drop it down to the quarter inch thread that those, uh, those compressors have. So again, that would thread in there. But either way, um, that's basically it. Once it's all tightened down, get pressure in the system, spray everything down with some soapy water and look for any bubbles um, you know, to check for leaks. But that's essentially it for the tank side of things. Obviously mount this thing nice and solid, um, keep it clean and uh, make your trunk look pretty. All right, any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Thanks so much.